Hey everyone, thank you so much for checking out Once Upon a Pots. Today we are talking all about my favorite park, Epcot, and my top five things to do inside that park. So as some of you may know, Epcot is my favorite park. Granted, there are things that I love in each park, but Epcot for some reason has the whole shebang for me. And it was actually really hard for me to narrow down a top five, which is why you'll see some kind of honorable mentions <laughs> in this video. But to kick it off, let's go ahead, we'll start with number five, the seas with Nemo and friends. So I really love this pavilion because not only is it a ride, it's like having a mini aquarium right inside of Epcot, which I love and my daughter loves. So you have this full experience where you see the Nemo story and what I love is when they project the Nemo characters inside the actual fish giant fish tank aquarium um, at the at the end of the ride and then you get to go out and kind of see there's dolphins there there's um, a whole little like shark experience uh, you can actually see real um, clownfish and blue tang so you can see you know Nemo and Dory and there is also Turtle Talk with Crush which is super fun if you haven't checked out Turtle Talk with Crush you're totally missing out it's one of the best interactive Disney experiences that I've ever seen Okay, so number four on my list is actually a ride that got a little bit of a facelift a few years ago, and that is Test Track. I actually remember when this ride first opened, and it was completely different from the ride that you see now. Um, it's still a great ride. There's still that thrill of when the doors open up and you are outside and you're, you're only going 60 miles an hour, but it feels like you're going so fast. It's a really fun ride and now it's very interactive with the queue and you kind of design your own car and see how fast your car performs and it gets a little competitive. So it's a great ride, that's Test Track. So number three on my list is one of my favorite rides in both Disneyland in California Adventure and here in Epcot, uh, and that is Soarin'. But in Epcot, it's actually Soarin' around the world. So it's a completely different video that you get to experience uh, than in California. So what I love is that they brought in a bunch of new scents and sensory experiences. Uh, it's a really beautiful video. It's one of those rides that you've never seen anywhere else where, well, I don't want to give it away how you fly. Go check it out. So number two for me is actually kind of like a big overall experience and that's the character spots throughout Epcot. I absolutely love the character experiences that you can get inside of Epcot because with the World Showcase you can meet a bunch of the characters in their actual like countries. So you can meet Mulan in China, you can meet uh, Snow White in Germany, you can see Pinocchio in Italy, you can see Belle and Aurora in France, Winnie the Pooh and those characters and Mary Poppins in England. I just, I love how authentic it becomes and um, it's a great experience for the kids or great photo ops for adults. Okay, so my number one actually, can I get to, let me do my honorable mentions first because I have three honorable mentions and that's because I love this park so much. Um, but I couldn't talk about Epcot without talking about my favorite character and the unofficial mascot of Epcot. Pigment. <laughs> I love this guy so much. He's so cute. <laughs> so I do love uh, Journey into Your Imagination, that whole experience. However, I like the original better. That's why I didn't make my top five list. Your ride kind of got hijacked. It got a little weird. Sorry. Anyway, but go check out Figment because he's just so cute. So the next honorable mention that I have is a brand new ride and really it didn't make my list because I think it's a little bit of a Disney cop out but it's still a fun ride and if you have a kid under 10 they're going to want to see it and that is Frozen Ever After. Um, it's a great ride inside of Norway. They took that old troll ride, Maelstrom I believe it was called, and redid it all to the Frozen theme. Um, it's a really fun ride. You hear the music and there's some cool uh, experiences and you know little dips and drops throughout it but not worth the like two hour wait that I've seen on there. So if you can get a fast pass for it, check it out. Okay, and the last honorable mention that I have, um, it's actually Club Cool by Coca-Cola. And the only reason I say that is because the best experience that you can have is tricking someone into drinking the Beverly, 
<laughs> and watching their reaction. Because if you haven't tried it, it's this delicious soda from Italy, and you should, you would absolutely love it. You're not gonna love it, it's disgusting. <laughs> if you've watched this video, now you know. So you can trick other people into drinking it. But I do love the other flavors too, that there's like that watermelon one from China, and um, just fun different Coca-Cola products from around the world. Oh, and it's free. Okay, so my number one favorite thing to do in Epcot is eating and drinking around the world. <laughs> I mean, I know this is totally a cop-out, but i it's the best thing to do, no matter if it's Food and Wine Festival or just any regular day at Epcot. There are so many amazing dining experiences and delicious cocktails and beverages to be had. I mean, that's the reason I made my whole boozing around the world shirt. <laughs> That was a little plug for my Etsy shop, BT Dubs, so check that out. <laughs> Some of my favorite things that are in the park all the time is the Grand Manier slushy inside of the France Pavilion, the whole patisserie over there, is, and I hope I said that right. Did I say that nice and French? Patisserie? Um, <laughs> it's delicious as well. Everything in there, there's like the, the raspberry lemon macaroon. Um, some other things, oh, the gelato in Italy. There's actually a great little quick service spot in Japan that I love. You can get, you know, good sushi. Um, oh, and in Germany, the pretzels. Oh my goodness, the pretzels and the grapefruit beer, my favorite. So obviously, so much to do at Epcot. It is my favorite park. If you have any questions, comments, please put it in the comments section below. I wanna hear what you love in that park. Follow me on Instagram, check out my Etsy shop. I will see you next time. Have a magical day.